now we get to make braised red cabbage. I hate red cabbage and coleslaw, don't I? But braising red cabbage is wholesome. Braised red cabbage is something I desire when I'm eating a schnitzel. You have a crispy, hopefully moist schnitzel, a wet, fatty, acidic, lovely braised red cabbage. Those make sense to me. The first thing that we need to do is make something that we love making on this show, lardon. I think the reason I like making lardon so much is because my dad always would just take regular bacon and cut it up and like crisp it up. I'm like, I don't like that. For some reason, it just never gets crispy. It doesn't have the bite. So I just feel like when something needs lardon, it gets lardon. So this is just a single smoked bacon and we're just gonna cut it into lardon. It's just a beautiful little slice of bacon. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil in our pan, about three tablespoons of olive oil. To get ready, we can slice an onion. And I'm not dicing it because I want there to be a little bit of body. We don't need a lot of garlic, two cloves. At most restaurants, you have a thing called staff meal. As cooks, we cook for all the staff members of the restaurant. So every day we all sit down and have family meal. When it was my day in the winter time, I would always make this red cabbage dish. When I made braised red cabbage for my staff, the response was like, give me more, sir. You ever see that movie with the, the orphans? Red cabbage specifically, if you kind of treat it like stewing beef short rib or pork or you know something that needs to be stewed, it just gets deeper in flavor. Once you get your lard on, nice and golden brown, the bacon fat's rendering out. I'm gonna add our cracked garlic. Give that a little toast up. Now we're gonna add the onions. And now once you add the onions, you can really start thinking about who the you are as a person. Now what we're gonna do is add a big hunk of butter. It's like three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add like half a tablespoon of caraway seeds. The caraway seed just makes that dish better. Every single ingredient that I add, adds to the story of that dish. It's always, what, what's that je ne sais quoi? It's that one little thing in those dishes that really just takes it above and beyond. I'm gonna quarter the cabbage and then I'm gonna cut each quarter into half. We have a little bit of time because I want those onions to caramelize and cook out. So just cut your cabbage into nice big chunks. Our onions have cooked down nice and caramelized. Our bacon, the caraway seed, is toasting and releasing. Before I add my cabbage, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of grainy mustard. And that is gonna add a really nice sweetness. And it's just gonna It's just great, okay? It's just great. Now, add all of our cabbage. I'm just gonna kinda mix this up a little bit. We're gonna add half a cup of red wine vinegar. And I have an amazing, kind of like a Bavarian style traditional wheat beer. And I'm gonna add all of this. Just because I use the Bavarian wheat beer, that's just like me, a nod once again to the Euros, you know? You can use any kind of beer, cider, uh, you could use red wine. Now we're gonna give this a stir. I'm gonna put a lid on this. Once this comes up to a boil, I'm gonna turn this down really low and I am gonna braise this for about an hour and a half. The braised cabbage with the pork, that will warm and comfort your soul. Still got some bite. 